Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how to display a web view inside of your Swift UI application. As you can see, they can't even tell that it's a website. They can see that it's completely integrated in the application. They can't see um, the link or anything like that. And obviously, we'll be passing something else other than Google. You can obviously click on any buttons displayed inside of the uh, inside of the web view kit, and you'll be even able to select things and navigate to different links based on that so without further ado let's go ahead and actually start the video welcome back guys so the first thing we need to do is actually go ahead and right click click on new file and we're just going to select a swift file and i will call it browser and then click on create and now we have this empty swift file so we're going to start by importing Swift UI, and then we are going to import web kit and now we're going to create the struct that we will be passing in our con content view which will be displaying our web view and I'm going to call it struct web view and inside of here I will say UI view representable and let's go ahead and close this there we go. Now it will throw up a bunch of errors, completely ignore them. First we need to actually have a URL and it will be of type string and this is the URL that we want the app to display. And then we're going to be adding only two functions. First one is called func make UI view and the second one is going to be called func update UI view. Now we can start filling it up to and as you can see the errors have left but now we need to actually start filling it up so go ahead and copy the struct, the struct name and instead of saying some UI view remove this and instead pass in web view and we will start having errors completely ignore them um, sorry so instead of saying web view what you need to have is actually w k and then web view there we go and now we need to put a guard statement and I'm going to say guard let URL is equal to URL and inside of here we're going to be passing a string and then I'm pretty sure you've guessed it we will be passing that URL that we created above and then because it's a guard statement we have to say else return wk web review um, definitely if you want you can return something else but I'm just gonna return WK web view for this tutorial after that we and still inside the function we need to create a request so I'm going to say let request is equal to URL request and inside of here I'm going to say URL is equal to the URL so we're going to be requesting that URL that we just created and after that, I will say let wk web view equal to wk web view. And finally, we're going to say wk web view, which we just created above. Dot load. We're going to load that up, and we're going to load it with that request that we just created as well. And finally, we're going to be returning that view that we just created. So it will be return WK web view. Finally, now we can actually remove this. And for our context, what I'm going to say is I will remove this and I will say UI view representable context. And inside of here, I will simply say web, sorry, web view so this is exactly the same as this now we are actually done with creating a browser and now we need to just pass it on or display it so i'm going to head back to the content view i'll remove this completely and all i need to do now is simply call, um, call that function uh, that structure so i'm going to say web view open and close the bracket inside of here we're going to have a url 
and now we just need to pass that URL that we created. So all I'm going to do is I'll copy Google's URL and I'll pass it over here. Now surprisingly we don't actually need to run the app to display it, all we simply need to do is click on this button, go on canvas and zoom. And as you can see, we have our web view ready and I can even go ahead and type in, okay, it doesn't seem like the input is working here, but you can type in stuff and it will work exactly the same. You can even go in images, you can sign in if you want and so on. So it gives you the full web view experience in Swift UI with legit just this single line of code. Thank you for watching and please remember to leave a like and a subscribe. Have a good day.